So, um, why don't you introduce the program? And then yeah, the idea that the idea is, so, or what I learned doing the AC100, is if you have a community, it's actually not much work to implement something. I mean, the AC100 was a disaster because we implemented a completely new, new type of images. So it was a bit more work than it should have been, or than I planned to. But actually, it shouldn't be so much work to just enable a new device. You need to know how it boots, you or need to implement or that stuff in the build system to make it bootable, and beyond that, user space is always the same. Well, more specifically, it needs to have a relatively sane bootloader. It needs to be able to support both a kernel and a RAM disk, and that's the important one to know. No, it doesn't need to support a RAM disk anymore. We got, we got rid of that really? <laughs> right in the session before. <laughs> that actually went well. Um, okay. Steve Langeshek is pushing for it or this release already. I planned it for several releases. Interesting. As long as the kernel team... Or well, so we're actually going to get the kernel to do... Yeah, but, but Tim, Tim said that's a trivial patch. Okay, whose drink did you spike? <laughs> apparently Tim's. <laughs> that's all right. No, apparently, okay. apparently Scott already made a proposal for that years ago. Right? For us turned down. And didn't, didn't write that patch, but oh, yeah. So let's, let's stick to, the, uh, to that right. session here. Um, so the, the idea was, uh, since, since it suddenly gained Ubuntu a lot of momentum in the ARM market, so because suddenly everybody runs AC100s with Ubuntu Please. I've seen six. Because they suck so much <laughs> with the pre-installed Android. Um, I was thinking that we should, should repeat that. And that we should repeat that every uh, every cycle. So preferably with an architecture that Inaro supports, so we can already get a kernel and bootloader from there. But well, build inofficial images uh, for the community that then the community takes over to maintain. Plus, it's going to be Tegra too. Most of Tegras or OMAPs. So yeah, Tegras or OMAPs. There is the WebOS tablet from HP that you can buy cheap or could buy cheap. There's the color. If you want you it doesn't have to, to it, it doesn't chip. have to be a device that, that's still in production, in my opinion. Uh, this can be bought cheap, for sure. As long yeah. as it's available. As long as it's available and as long as the community wants it. Because uh, I want the, the main focus of that program is right. to build the community, not to not to support more devices. That's that's a side effect of all that. So um, the thing is that we that we make a lot of fuss about that. Uh, like about that. Yeah. But the idea is to make a lot of fuss about the program in advance and select a little list of devices we could work on and then have the community, community people vote on which device we take. And we need somebody in the community to commit to take over the, the, the responsibility for that image once we have done the work. So, some realistic devices that I've heard thrown around this week and before. No color. No color has been on the list. Uh, the Afika Smartbook, although I that's supposed to work for IMX51 images, aren't they? No, I don't think so. Neat theory. Oh. Marcin, a, Marcin knows it, I think. There is a U boot uh, support in the main line for Smartbook. Uh, there is a kernel more or less working in main line or with some few patches. <coughs> At Linear, we even have some uh, hardware pack for it, but so far, so far, I think all I got is that it doesn't work, which means no one tested it, and, yeah, and I st it's it still helps. somewhere on my list because I have the boot board. Well, the question is, could we could we just make it work with our IMX53 images by a slight modification in them or something? Probably, but the. With, with uh, Genesis, the problem of will we support Genesis still st thinks that Maverick is perfect and they support Maverick was Genesis. perfect when it was released. Yeah, when it was released, but you know, <laughs> they still are Maverick. They recently yeah. released new image of Maverick for them. Yeah, it's another six months of support for Maverick. Getting, can do getting current working on uh, Fika Smart Book or Smart Top because kernel should be the same is not too much work. Right, that's what I think. So the problem put it, is, put it, put it will we have a community Who's behind it? Oh, John. Okay. So I also think. Oh, 
There's so a Transformer might be an interesting. That's Tegra based. Um, that's Tegra 2. And it's got the end feed. Uh, and we have already a community image yeah. or in the community that just needs a bit of yeah, the, the, love the, the from. more interesting because they also, we can also test and touch. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so there are a lot of people that are interested in Transformer support and a lot of people have been working on it. Let's yeah. see yeah. what else. What are good devices do we have floating around? Um, there, there are some. The I like for the Atrix 4G web top environment. So, just for those who are familiar, the Atrix 4G is an Android smartphone, but when plugged into a dock, it actually fires up an Bluetooth base. How big is our community the on it? Too. Does the Bionics got the same thing on? Yeah, it's one the same. Although I don't think they have a stable root for uh, Bionic 2 yet. Well, stable root? I didn't look. I, I think, I think, I think the Atrix has an unlockable bootloader. The Bionics doesn't. Right, and uh, how many how many community developers would we get with Atrix? I mean, how many how many people I'm would actually want to want to actively? I'm just throwing it on the list. In, in the image. Uh, I'm throwing on the list for yeah, devices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. List, but I'm wondering, uh, could we gain any momentum? With it? Um, I think there's actually a fair bit of momentum because while many people say the Atrix rocks, its web top environment sucks. So, um, and I actually work as a Silogen mod developer, so I may even be able to get packages as part of the Silogen mod. Um, the, the problem with the Atrix is also that it is uh, running a tool, I guess. Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not actively switching OSs. Yeah, it yeah. Yeah, basically runs both at the same time. I was wondering who actually works with Macarella on that, or is it just something they did on their own? Because it still runs Ubuntu 9.04, and maybe that will be. It's something Motorola does on their own. Yeah, I think they, they actually took Woodstock to, to roll their own. They did. Root. They did. <laughs> what? Yeah. Rootstock does, does everything right. It was, it was a ripoff of the live CD SH script. I did, somebody I in the room here wrote. <laughs> no, I didn't write it. Like you wrote SH. No, you wrote Rootstock. I wrote Rootstock. Yeah, which apparently is just a But I stole from his script. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but Rootstock's the one that enable all these knockoff Ubuntu devices. Crack installs. Right, but, and, but companies use it all over the place. It's, it's, it's really it's scary. <laughs> because nobody maintains it in a, in a year. There's nothing scarier than people who use your code. Yeah. I've seen your code. It, e, yeah, e, don't, e don't look at it. Don't look at it. <laughs> Wear glasses if you, if you see it. Right. So, uh, wear glasses, please. We're getting a little off topic. Yes. So, we've, we've got three devices, all of which are based on sub architectures that we already support. Well, Tegra, we don't really support, but um, Shush. On, a, on a community level, we do. Let me rephrase that. We have kernels in archive, and it wouldn't be impossible to ex merge patches into the kernel. Somebody is actually in the uh, SE100 community is working on adding uh, all the all the transformer patches to our SE100 oh, yeah, yeah. at the moment. When I don't know I don't know. Actually, no? uh, hmm? They're pushing things upstream as well. Yeah, yeah. But W O Linda yeah. just bought a bought a transformer to uh, no, he, he bought a folio. He didn't buy a transformer, put the folio with on it. The folio is like oh, 200 euros. Yeah. It's, it's identical. It's got an identical board. Okay. That would be really easy. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's any other consumer devices that are relatively common. Uh, maybe, did we, we got the HP uh, touchpad or whatever it's called? How about, how about the new Kindles? What, what, what CPU do they have? Okay, uh, Kindle Fire is. is that OLED? It, it's on that 4, yeah. but it's. Love? When I've read, it's locked down. It's secured, it's secured boot. Same with the uh, Kindle 4 itself, although I don't think we want to run a bit on an ink device. Nay, we don't know. The HP touchpad is like a couple of hundred thousand I think, flying yeah. around. Right, and they were, they were, they were because available for $90 or something in there. Yeah, I bought one for 100 Right, for the tablets, we need to have a little more discussion because I think shop, shipping our stock environment on the mean, tablet yeah. is. So it's, a community, it's a community yeah. development image, and, and uh, they, can, they can probably improve it by okay. using it. Yeah, if they can figure out how to interact with it. <laughs> the man has a point. You just bang well, we your head into the tablet repeatedly until an application starts. We have Florence. We have Florence. Shush. Um, <laughs> you packaged this. <laughs> yes, I know I did. Yeah. Florence is Florence. Resembling the Android keyboard. And essentially, we're going to... Shush. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so for all those devices, except for the touchpad, I don't know what the touchpad SSC is. Uh, oh, Matt, three or four? Four. Four. Okay. Um, oh, Motorola Zoom. 
Zoom. Uh, on my floor, but I don't think you can, bootloader you can is crack the boot bootloader even. No, bootloader is fast boot OEM unlockable. The problem is I, it cannot be flashed directly from the user part, the system partition. To reflash the kernel, the system has to reboot into recovery mode, flash it then, and then it boots back into main boot. But we could well, script that. But that worked the same when, you, when I started. Well, no, there's an actual memory barrier lock on the hard Oh, mode. okay. So it can be done, but the device has to boot it into its own recovery mode right. to flash it. But that could be scripted. It just means so that. We essentially want want to find a list of devices that we easily can, can handle without putting too much work into it. So I don't want to work weeks on cracking a, a device. Well, I mean, it, and, and if we're looking at targeting one per cycle, I mean, we just we pick something that's the most attractive. Yeah. Per well, per cycle. we get the Zoom. I think we almost get the HP touchpad for free. They're almost identical in terms of hardware. Um, so, but uh, let's see here. So those are five, and I think the Afika MX will get fixed regardless if it's just minor modifications of the IMX 51 image. Yeah, but if upstream works on, on Maverick only at the moment, well, yeah, it, yes, it we will be hard to fix for us and be precise. We, we know that the upstream is crack. Okay. I don't really care deeply about what upstream is doing on the Afika, but um, I mean, we, we can't do a unified image unless U-Boot works on all those devices on the same build, which I'm guessing is not the case. Um, U-boot for uh, MX-51 versus 53, completely different builds, right? Well, also AC-100 was a lot of work. No, it wasn't. Well, it says that it was yeah, a lot of work. Yeah, I think Jonathan just misunderstood that. Oh, okay. But AC-100 was a lot of work because we, we introduced a brand new image type that we never did before. That was the, was the hard, okay. hard part. But yeah, if, you take, if you take the type, a type that is existing already, then it's just uh, flicking a switch and, and adding, adding a few lines to, to the Wouldn't of this require special casing like the AC-100? The Zoom one, uh, it would need a fast boot image. But there's tools available to make that pretty painless. Um, probably the same for the touchpad. And, and um, the AC100 only has that image type because I picked it. We right. could have done a live image for it. We could have done anything for Why it. Why don't we do a live image for it? Because it's so much work. And I can't, I, I can't really use a petition now. So I, I, I would have done a standard pre-installed image, but then oh, I would have to do the expanding on, yeah. a, on a partition which, of which I already know the size. We so, could have booted it on a live. We could have booted it a live image off USB and then just have you get. Okay. I, 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 yeah, I, I get it. You it, could you could have done a live image. It could have done it and skip partitioning or something. But um, yeah, I, I did decide to, to do it uh, with a tablet instead. It which, works, which which caused a lot of extra work. But if you if you take a, an existing way of building an image. Or is Which we've pretty much run out of completely different ways to install systems at this point. Right. So it's going right. to be one of the ones we've already used. No, I will, no, like I said, the Zoom will need actually one we haven't done yet. And that's oh. fast boot. It needs to rewrite. So is AC100? Yeah. AC100 is fast boot. No, its system partition has to be written by some fast boot. Oh, really? Yeah, unless you want to do it for recovery mode. And it's, but fast boot's a lot faster, and you have to go to fast boot anyway to flash. Right, right. Kernel. So you, you flash your system image at the same time as you're flashing your kernel. Right. So, uh, but building a fast boot image is pretty simple. So, yeah, I, I, if we do the zoom, I'm going to get the short stick on that. I pretty much just volunteered myself. Um, of the, the zoom is still being sold. It is the only one on there I know for a fact uh, that is, comes with Android that is easy to reflash. The HT, HP t uh, touchpad comes with WebOS which resembles standard Linux a lot more than Android does. I do not know how easy it is to reflash its kernel. Um, well, I know Fairly I know plenty of people who are running Android on their touchpads, so they yeah. can't be that hard to fiddle with. That's what I figure. Um, Atrix 4G bootloader is unlockable, and like I said, it is a tarball. It, well, it's essentially it's a true root. I've actually did some looking into the, it. The problem here is that we actually need to get our hands on one. Yeah, well, one device I, to do I, don't, I, don't, I don't like the idea of targeting the Atrix personally, because we're not targeting booting the device at that point. We're targeting replacing the root, which is less mm, interesting, yeah. I think. 
Okay, so I guess the Atrix. Yeah. And, and, let, and the oh. problem I see with the HP is uh, what I just said. Uh, we need, we actually need one device in, in, in our team to to actually do the work. So yeah. uh, the HP yeah. one is not easy to get. The Motorola from. Zoom is also interesting for a more perspective. It is the only piece of hardware that has a 4G modem in it, LTE. So. Um, that may actually be an interesting enablement project. I don't know because you you add a lot of extra work if you want to fix all, all these bugs in 4G that uh, hasn't hasn't been found yet. Right, but not all models have that. Right? Yeah, that's only if you buy it through. Yeah. I wouldn't. I, US, I would. I would like to like to like to have the hardware as 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 easy as possible, so we don't have yeah. user space bugs to deal I with. I don't know. I, uh, uh, out of that list. If we discount the FIFA stuff for now, yeah. um, though that's a reasonably easy target. We only have the the transformer is probably the most attractive target. Yeah. It's it's readily available. They're still in production. There is already a community around them that cares about them. Which and is there's already important. a next generation coming with a lot yeah. more RAM and oh, plus yeah. it's, it's not it's not a dead product, and it's a product that people actually like and, and oh, yeah. are they're the really interested in. I know, oh. I know we have community images out there for the yeah. Galaxy. I will make a note that if we enable either the Galaxy tab or the Zoom, enabling the other one is pretty much trivial because the way Android works, the system partitions pretty much, which is where Android would live, is pretty much interchangeable. It, then at that point it comes a matter of kernel. We have a generic Android to Ubuntu image, which would run on most everything that Android does now. Mm -hmm. No color. Yeah, you need to be yeah, specific. No color. Be specific. Uh, though the nook color is like dead simple stupid support. Yes. Like it's a month three. It's it's almost identical to the Beagle. It, it Isn't probably the, not, uh, the, the, the color. Um There's four? already a. Hmm? Isn't the color Omat um four? No, it's no, three. three. There's already a quasi Ubuntu image for it, but it runs off of VNC. Uh, so it's a true. Yeah. That one, no, the uh, quasi one. It, it's it's kind of shrewd. It's using <laughs> it's using the nook color bootloader and kernel, and then an Ubuntu environment. But they just haven't gotten video working. And uh, they, that was back in May last time I looked at this. Truth be told, to get the nook color working, probably all it would take is someone to sit down for OMAT free kernel and just tweak the initialization if it's on OMAT uh, nook color. It sends in a custom machine ID. It would probably. If I set the time aside, I could probably even fix the kernel in about two weeks and get the on that free image to boot right off it. For some of these, maybe userland and X probably would be needed. Uh, what? For touch. For some of these, maybe not only kernel but also uh, touch and touch easy. for the new yeah, for any of the tablet devices. You're looking at it actually having to do some userland support. Because we some don't really do fancy tablet things very well. Coming out of the Ubuntu tablet discussion, I think we're going to spin up a Ubuntu tablet C, which at the very most is just going to be a tweak unity with different config options. So I it think the, OE, works. the OEM group is testing uh, for the Unity team. I think they have some. Oh, oh yeah, the tablet, yeah, tablet stuff, have, is, have, yes, the tablet stuff is on the way. It's just right. it's not here now. No, yeah. No, no. So for tablets, though, it's going to be a new type. It's going to be a Ubuntu tablet image, and not maybe for Ubuntu. the new color since it's smaller. Maybe. Wait, what? New color has a smaller screen, right, than the others. It's 1024 by 600. Yeah. So, so but on seven inches. Oh. But the big advantage to okay. with the transformer is that you have a keyboard dock. Yeah, so can I, I really a, like trans. I really think transformers an attractive device if we want yeah, to target so something that's like. Yeah, so let's see. I, I, I would really propose to put that first. Of worrying about the, the tablet. What's the uh, MSRP transformer? The what? Ma recommended manufacturer retail price. MSRP. MSRP. Uh, Six hundred bucks. Oh, that's not so bad. Well, they're rattling off too, so they're. No, it's it's, it's, it's cheaper, cheaper now. The first generation transformer should be around four hundred. Three four hundred. Um, the expensive part is the keyboard. Or yeah. plus another two hundred or something. Oh, they don't ship with it. No, no second no. generation. It's not yet out, right? No, but it was announced, so it will be out yeah. very soon. Yeah. And um, this is Tegra three, by the way. Um, I think it's Tegra three, but still only one gigabyte of RAM. And you don't really gain much from the Tegra 3. It has neon. Yeah, it has neon, but uh, we don't do neon anyway. $400 at Amazon. Oh, and anyway. 300? 400. 400. 400, 400. yeah. I've yeah, got 140 US for the keyboard dock. Yeah. 
a keyboard, this keyboard, or it has a battery as well? It has a battery as well, so um, it, it doubles your battery life actually. Uh -huh. Using the keyboard, you have 16 hours. Yeah, the yeah. fun is that when you plug transformer into dock, the charge is battery the in the tablet will charge from the dock. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Well, and it basically turns it into a netbook. Yes, it's, it's right. not just a dock. So we wouldn't have to care for the tablet thing at all. Because, because we, we can just say oh, it's netbook only, netbook mode only if you want to do tablet stuff on it or help the tablet people and want to, to improve the tablet experience. Here. Um, there's a TF101 for 330 US, yeah. which like is just your sweet spot. So those would I'd probably be in the... I would show mine around, but mine is charging in the room. I forgot what you called your uh, charball images, but that's probably what we'd use on it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's very similar but, um, to the ASIN already. If, if, if we can come up with sort of a, a rough estimate of what would need to be done to uh, to enable that. And well, because that's 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 what management wants to see coming. Yes, yeah, I have right. to actually give. I some, need I need to give David a uh, reasonable cost estimate. Time estimate, and he will turn it into. I, I can actually give you some mm -hmm. information on the ASOS the suit. Wow, I can't talk today. Uh, the transformer, um, it's Tegra based. It's got a partition flash, just like the AC100. So, mm -hmm. part of what I'll be doing is sitting down with it and learn, relearning the. NV flash voodoo to make it a nice block. <coughs> it doesn't use NV, um, NVEC like we do in the, in the uh, SE100, so you will have a lot less kind of problems because it uses proper devices. Yay! Uh, and, yeah. and if we talk to little Stevie, already maintains images, we just need to make them official. We just need to pull them over into, into our build system, um, which is um, probably a week of work or less. Right. The only thing is that while I should say we target, we, we are targeting the netbook configure the, the netbook. Uh, netbook configuration. We should at least make sure it's installable in tablet form only. So. Oh, you bet. Yeah. Um, so and, and it would be nice if eventually it actually functioned as a tablet too. But yeah. Uh, so right but now, I don't think uh, Ubiquity supports touch. So that's an issue. Yeah, they're 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 working on it. Well, you've been working on it for like three cycles. Okay. Yeah. Ubiquity <laughs> works, but there's surely any accessibility tool that can make a virtual mouse on your on your on your screen. Yes, there's several. Mouse is one. Mouse no. is easy. Mouse on a touch tablet is already done. It just turns your touch tablet into like a touch mouse. Which, which is good right. enough for Ubiquity. Right. And that, but that should well, be right up until you need to problem. type in a user. Well, they had yesterday. They had we can make the there's a config there. option to make the accessibility the keyboard pop up on the <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we can still say use a USB keyboard for, for, for the installation if you want, yep. but if you, need to, if you don't have the keyboard dock. But, uh, oh, can I just use a USB keyboard? I think you don't you need can. the dock? Okay. Okay. You should be able to. It has a USB so, socket. So. Okay. I think the transformer is the device we'll enable, and the um, Fika, if it's no, no, we don't make the decision. That's the point. It's, so how do we? It, how it, do it is not about enabling devices. It is about building up a community. This spec is not about enabling devices. Fair enough. Enabling a device is a side effect. It is okay. about enabling community. Getting community interest and having the community do more. They are they are sitting there. We have lots of people in the, in the Ubuntu ARM channel that would very likely be interested in, in helping out, but uh, do you think we, don't, we don't have anything to offer to them. But do you think they would be interested in general arm work, like fixing builds and stuff like that, or just interested in their own devices getting them to work? I don't... For the AC100? I think, I think we have both of them, and... Uh, well, you see the AC100 community, they, they are working on AC100 and even on their force, but yeah. you don't see them fixing packages, which is fair, because that's not... Yeah, but oh, somebody, somebody who wants to work on ARM suddenly has a, an opportunity to take that device. And um, we enable more devices to enable the community. But um, it's, it's, the focus is really on the community, yeah. not on the, on the, on well, the devices. Well, community focus is one of the reasons why I think Transformers is the best option. Yes, I think so as well. But, but we, we, we shouldn't make this final yeah. decision. They get a list, and uh, we will likely get the most feedback uh, for also, the Transformers. I think one reason why the AC100 has a good community is because the default install on that was crap. Yeah. But with the Galaxy Tab and the Asus Transformer, I think they are pretty decent by default. So people yeah. won't be that attracted to something else. No, but you already have people yeah. working on it, oh, so it makes it easier mm -hmm. for us. 
good. Uh, what else? Um, work items. Write blog posts, create a wiki namespace uh, for, for the project, and uh, yeah, make a lot of noise. <laughs> Yay, noise. Get journal about it. <laughs> Let him take care. So, so people, people know about the program. That's very important. Probably even on the canonical blog or something. Um, yeah, then actually implement the device in the build system, or make a decision which kind of image we, we want to build, depending on the device. Right. Uh, Some devices it might be beneficial just to leave as a live image. On an image type. Back to their original. Yeah. No, decide on an image type. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if the device has an external slot like USB or SD and internal one, mm -hmm. we should go with a live image since right. that is a goal in this cycle. Let's right. this have a pilot. Yeah, for well, example, we, the Hood Color boots off the external SD card first and the internal second. So you can build a live image and actually be able to go back and forth. And we can make well, it so what, that... What Adam said, we, we, we probably now cover every possible way to install an image. So uh, we can so just make it based on the device. Yeah, but ideally we'd have one. Oh, well, there will be something else at some point or another. Well, we have a spec to integrate all yeah, that yeah. stuff into Debian installer, so in the end you just build an image uh, and Debian installer does the rest uh, mm -hmm. according to the device type. Mm. What else? Um, uh, find, uh, find a person who's, who's taking responsibility in the community for the image sign off and testing. Yeah, has anybody taken over AC100 from you? Not yet. I, I, I haven't made any, any, any noise yet. I, if I return home from here, I will I'll write to the mailing list. If? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that's, that's some positive <laughs> thinking right there. <laughs> I don't fly to, I never fly through New York. I'm not done. <laughs> I know how to enter the US easier. Um, Assemble and estimate a document about uh, time estimates uh, for doing the work for management to actually sign, sign off the uh, uh, form, <laughs> not from. <laughs> for management to? To actually get a sign off from Canonical for the money that is involved in that. Yeah, just generally save for cost. Yeah, for cost, right. Not not necessarily money it's people. Or cost. Or costs. Whatever. Yeah. One problem I have with the testing is that I find that unless I'm testing it, it doesn't get released. Because the, uh, the release management always comes to me for testing on everything. Because your name is the testing. But, but you will have anything automated anyway, this type of don't you? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> show me how I'm going to automate a tablet that I don't have. We'll fix that. <laughs> we'll make sure you get one. Make sure you get one. Well, I don't have a problem with that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> with a question mark put in, uh, get a device for the team. Right. In work. But with a big question mark because you have to pay that as well. Or for each member of the team. Oh, what? For the team for the, or for each member of the team? I wouldn't say for each member. Well, we need, we need, uh, we need one device uh, to, to actually look at the bootloader yeah. and how to, how to make it run and how to build the image and so on. Mm -hmm. um, and that device could be sent around, but if it's, if it's a device anybody buys anyway, then you know, we, can, we can just uh, have multiple. I have a transformer, but I don't want to run a good one. Ship with. Maybe some of them are not that effective. Honeycomb. Honeycomb. Yeah, it's, it's, really, it's really good, really well usable in the default setup. See, there's a review that you'll need to modify. Sure, sure. And I think even that is uh, it's already supported by Linux series. You just need to just need to adapt it. But still, it's not about the device. <laughs> I think the AC100 was in a unique, maybe not that unique position, but rare that people wanted to want it because nothing else would work. Maybe if we picked some very cheap and crappy tablets, we'd be in the same situation. Others with Android 2 on that. Yeah. 
but the new ones are. The AC100 was kind of a special case though. The, the Android image that came on it was crap. Yes. <laughs> so there wasn't a question of whether or not you wanted to. No, I think Yanni tried it out. <laughs> yeah. It is. You know, oh, oh, crap, it is. It is actually possible to do it. I actually started reading the user manual sure. to see. Sure. But uh, you'd have to repartition it and uh, sacrifice no, it. No, you don't have to repartition it. We did do a booting. No, no, do a boot off the EMMC. Yes, we did that for quite a while. I'm not using it partition. With a, with a 29 column. We, we, don't, yeah. don't talk about that evil. Well, well it worked for dual booting. So, uh, Michael, you said something about uh, um, the installation process for the Macroda Zoom uh, that you want to work on? Uh, no, I'm the one who's going to be implementing the fast boot images if we go down that road, just because I actually know how fast boot works mm -hmm. due to my previous experience with rooting Android phones. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to start charging people to do that in EDS. Let's yeah. <laughs> we'll stop advertising. I don't advertise anymore. David just hears someone that's having phone trouble and points them to me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he charges. Yeah, David then literally came to me Sunday night and said, Dave, uh, Mike needs to see the uh, legal um, team immediately. <laughs> oh my god, what's this about? Oh, they need to root their hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which team was it? Legal. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one team you don't want to screw up on. <laughs> the one team you wouldn't expect they root yeah. their hands, right? Well, I just have to well he didn't even give you a reason initially. He's like, Mike needs to see the legal. <laughs> And that's how he said it to me as I went yeah. into it too. <laughs> so I think we've actually got a pretty good case. So I think we need work items. Who's going to put this on their blogs? I know Ollie will because his blog actually gets read. Right. And uh, we have work items there. We just need to assign them. But it all, it all, it all stops and starts um, with with approval from Canonical because we need to yep. put work time in and we need to put money in. That's why well, we, 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 need, we need the cost estimate really yeah. the, before anything else. Think, yeah, um, assign me the cost thing. I'll figure that out and pitch a proposal to both David and uh, Victor P. To yeah, we, we, we only need work hours. Well, I'm also going to see if I can get us approval to get some devices on the team. Yeah, yeah, monetary cost for devices is not really a huge deal. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's man hour cost. That they're yeah. Yeah. About. Um, because I can do the research on what these devices are shipping as bootloaders and get a rough number of what it's going to take. Right, and then uh, be sure to triple your estimate because you're an engineer. Oh, yeah. Good. I, that's, <laughs> that's how... I've been doing this for three that's, years. It's totally a five minute fix. And expect that management so then comes later. Fifteen minute fix. <coughs> Let's see here. Um, get device from the team. Make a device. Uh, image type. Uh, put me as a sign an image type because I'll make that decision. Because uh, once I get the community support, I'm gonna pitch multiple devices and whatever one they. Are you, are you sure you will have any time for that? You will. You will be. You will be up to there in server. Do you, do you really think you um, I can delegate the server work. That's the great part about it. Hey, you can assign the image type thing to me. Okay, give that one to Infinity. Yeah, which should be AD Conrad. Yeah. Well, I'm not, Assigning I'm things not, to I'm Infinity not, and Launchpad not, is fantastic. I don't want to stop fun. you or anything, but I, I really think it will, it will be overworked. That's true. I'll just so, take the uh, assemble time estimate because, right. you know, So don't take too much from, 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 from the list. You could make noise, that's easy. Just jump up and down and scream. Ah, okay, no, we're no, we no. will have to bear Tobin, man, <laughs> if he complains in the channel all the time. Make a lot of noise, isn't that about? <laughs> it says make a lot of noise. Isn't it right now? <laughs> isn't yeah, I'll. I'll well, I, just, I, just, I hear it's snoring every night, you know. <laughs> Most of these work items are, are obviously completely deferred until we actually decide to do something anyway, so. They're not so much work items as they are. Potential work items. Right. Well, um, the blog post and the wiki space is something that can be done as a meal. Yeah. yeah. But if we can, if we get the whole cost estimate thing going, then we can move from there. Okay. Well, and the cost depends on the device, I guess. Yeah. Oh, you're going to work our costs. Yeah, so but, you have to uh, do it per device. Right? But, 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, some are obviously harder than others, but we can sort of give a rough estimate of enabling a new device should be around this much time, mm -hmm. give or take. Yeah, and actually testing it, realistically speaking, all I'm doing is image installation and smoke testing. Yeah, um, which is enough. When I see an issue with an app on a, on a main supported platform, then I'm going to go across and start testing it on everything anyway, so... Um, you know, we shouldn't be doing more than smoke testing anyway. In fact, I... Oh, did I remember to register that session? Okay. What? I don't remember. Um, I was going to register a, a session about... Um, testing requirements for community images, not just ARM specific, but in general. We, because I think we... Uh, that got drafted last cycle. No, no, no. And I mean, the, we just had a testing... Oh, you just had another one that, for, was, just that was about community testing? Yeah. Well, it was about ISO testing, smoke testing, ISO testing. Okay, did it come to the conclusion that I was hoping it would, which is that we are accidentally communicating to people that they need to do a lot more testing than they really do? Because for, for smoke testing community images, I want to know that it boots, it installs, and it doesn't destroy your system. Anything beyond that doesn't matter to me for non-official, non-supported images. Yeah, well, that's something that, as on the X86 world, the ISO team, or the, uh, the QA team is going to handle all that yeah. on the daily images and the release images. Yeah, that's good. Oh. Pre-release images, whatever. Yeah. Milestone images. The big thing that really concerns me about these uh, platforms is the possibility of breaking them and how easy is it to recover if that happens. Well, on, on that list right now, no color is literally impossible. Yeah, I've broken it multiple times in the image. The zoom has, the only way to break the zoom is if you override the, boot, the uh, first stage bootloader and we won't be doing that. But even Same. there, it's probably not that hard to figure out how it goes and does its boot. What the, uh, as long as the first stage bootloader is intact, it will still do fast boot. And the only way to blow away the fat, you gotta do something really stupid to do successfully break that. Same goes for the Galaxy Tab. Uh, Atrix is a true so we're not gonna be playing the underlying kernel. Touchpad is OMAP free base, and it actually pins out the USB boot uh, to USB, so I believe it can be deeper like that. Um, I do not know anything about the ASUS transformer, but if it's like Tegra, it's got MB flash and ROM, and again, unbreakable. So I'm not concerned about Well, this. and even the ones that are technically breakable, you've got to really go out of your way to do it. Yeah, because we, the, most the SOCs have a assist boot in the uh, core. Right. Right, but even not, not, not counting anything that's in hardware or firmware, um, the reality is you have to do stupid, stupid, stupid things to get rid of your first stage bootloader when you really don't want to. Yeah. That's my point. Like, like, well, like it's, it's, it's ridiculously hard to break modern phones these days, too, given that people did it a lot in the last four or five years, and we've learned. Right. Yeah. The only way to realistically break the zoom is have a radio flash go bad or overwrite uh, H-boot. And I actually don't think you can override the H-boot, even if the bootloader is unlocked. Yeah, well, and there's no way in hell we're touching the radio. Yeah. Well, the, the thing I'm worried about is like, I've heard that it's easy to break the, uh, the feed system. With replacing you, they'll still boot off SD. Yeah, they'll switch boot off the SD. But I, I mean, I don't have a smart book, but I, I, I can't, uh, I can't break my little net top thing. Okay. The problem is the uh, smart, smart boot. They're nearly identical, as far as I know. There's dip switches on them that configure where they boot. They default to the internal. You got open it up and flip, flip the switches. That's not the other one. Yeah. Um, yeah, the only reason we would t the only reason I'd say the ra radio at all and Zoom may get touched is that there are updates that probably should be applied, but we'll have them install the Verizon updates first or whatever carrier whatever before we talk about this. Yeah, I, we don't want to be distributing radios anyway because we can't legally. No, no, but so, we don't I know. You might want to go to that one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, and I'm not subscribed to that. But yeah, it's only now it's back. I know. <laughs> they don't really care about the Bluetooth. How do you simplify the image more beyond the core? That's why I need to show up to that. Except um, that I'm double booked. Ripping, ripping out remaining man pages or stuff. We don't even. No. Yeah. We don't. We don't install them. Ubuntu right? core is quite literally the bootstrap. I know. Well, you can cut it down by, by enabling that switch that people get to not install Yeah, you can do defects filters, can, but... Can, can all these... Or minimal. Uh, yeah. 
there's a variant minimal, which is literally less than what we. It's not. No. I'll tend that. Ubuntu core is essential only. If I'm, if I'm it's not essential or it's dependencies. Right. And apt. Still. Oh yeah, apt is manually added. But, uh, oh fun, we got um, server optimization and settings today. After lunch. Yeah, well, yeah, we moved that yesterday. Yeah, I'll just go to that one. I, I won't go to the... Colin can survive just fine without me in the maintenance release one. Yeah. But, uh... Oh, Joe, I, I found your loss on your Yeah, just moved again. It just showed up. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a oh, what room is that crazy? The, the, that. The narrow room? Yeah, what's that? Um, Curacao one. Curacao one. C, it was C1. Yeah, thanks for participating. It was a very good session. Putting cords in the ground. Why <laughs> is my battery flat in the last session? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I have I yet to put on my, my laptop at uh, any sessions. <laughs> oh, I saw that. Actually, <laughs> I need um, I need to do a little bit of work this morning. Well. My network is just not. <laughs> Thank you.